Blockchain essentially is a digital database that is decentralized. There is no central entity. It relies on a peer-to-peer -peer network and it's distributed. So the records uh, on the database are shared with all participants in the network. And so it's a fast changing environment and so I think it's very key for regulators to know what's going on and to understand the technology. This publication is to build a bridge between the blockchain community and the trade community and try to explain in, in simple terms to trade officials what this technology is about, what it can do and what it cannot do. Blockchain could enhance uh, the transparency and the traceability of supply chains without a policy environment that allows the technology to thrive. Um, we may be losing the opportunity uh, to make international trade uh, more efficient and more inclusive. In fact, a recent study uh, has estimated that the gains from blockchains could deliver $3 trillion uh, of value worldwide by 2030. While the technology opens interesting opportunities, um, it also raises legal, uh, regulatory and policy issues that deserve our attention. Blockchain has um, opens many different opportunities when it comes to international trade. Um, because the transactions are, are linked um, and are timestamped, it makes traceability easier. It enables also to facilitate a, a number of, uh, of processes, border procedures for example, because you have all actors that have access to the same information in real time. These actors do not talk to each other, they work in silos, they do not share data and they do not necessarily trust each other. So it's very powerful to have a technology that allows these different actors to work together in a way and trust each other, uh, except that the trust comes from the technology. It's very important for regulators to keep that in mind and to see what their role should be and what they can do to allow the technology to really reach its full potential and to really make a difference.